Hey guys, welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission Blind. Let's see if we can play a little bit better. I'm assuming this is the way that we have to go. Haven't been here yet. Speed booster blocks. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What's down there, though? Whatever. Let's just go forward. We have to pick things up. It is a necessity. I don't know if I need a shine spark, but it, you never know. No, I clearly don't. What the heck is this? Wait, this is that thing that was blocking... Is this that room? That had the other one? Oh, I see wave beam cuts right through. Nice. Yeah, this is the guy from before. Oh, jeez. How the heck do you hit him? Bombs, maybe? This is definitely that room. Look, at it. it's filled in and it has the O on the end of the map. Yeah, maybe we gotta make him eat the bombs. That would make sense. If it would just work. Is that supposed to be a heart? The big glowing red spot? Imagine if your heart was right by your mouth. We'd all be dead. I don't know how that- there's logic there somewhere. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe this isn't- oh wait, yeah, that did damage him. Okay, I am on the right track. No, the idea is because we eat a bunch of crap food, so if it, your heart was by your mouth, it would get contaminated easier. That was the logic. It's stupid. Much like half of the things that come out of my mouth. But it filled the time, so shut up! He says to himself. Bombs away, there we go. Now, there is a- oh, where- there's an item. Ah! Oh. I always forget about that missile block. They seem to be using that every now and then. And also the one- yeah, that's right, there was a missile right out here. I remember, we got a shine spark. We could finally do it. Or speed booster, not shine spark. Yes, oh, it feels good to be down here finally. This missile has been taunting me. At least two or three passes now that I've seen it. I know that missile block is going down. Hopefully it's permanent. But some stuff seems to be permanent when you blow it up. Are there two rows of energy tanks in this game? I would assume so. We haven't even been to Ridley's hideout yet. I like these tunnels. I like having to use missiles on stuff. There's something about using regular missiles, even in Super Metroid. Whenever you have to use regular missiles instead of all the better stuff, there's just something enjoyable about it. What the heck? Is this spore spawn? It really has similar music. Oh, I see. Also kind of reminds me of the plant in Resident Evil, Plant 42. There was something about Resident Evil recently. I don't remember what it was. It doesn't matter. Gotta get the other side now. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. Ah, what's going on here? I don't know, I've been on the phone like crazy the past couple days. So forgive me if I sound a little bit exhausted and out of it. I'm kind of tired of talking, to be honest with you. But, again, the time crunch is real. I have to finish this. I don't have to. Nobody's really going to care. But, in my mind, I have these weird obligations that need to be fulfilled for my own sake. Alright. Nice little mini boss. Is this Ridley's elevator? I think it is. Now, Ridley's music in the NES was ear piercing and terrible to me. Oh, speaking of, he's in that ship, isn't he? In that previous cutscene, he was. God, he screams like in Metroid Fusion. Yes, this song. Now, 
I seem to recall in that video I did watch, he immediately went back up the elevator and came here a different way. So I have a feeling this is going to be a dead end. Whoops, I didn't even see that hole there. Yeah, this is a dead end room. A dead end job for a dead end. Something. How does that Misfits, Misfits lyric? That is the Misfits, right? Don't cry to me, oh baby. Yes, yeah, that song. Die, 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 my darling. I can open that door. This is it. I know now. He went back up the elevator, and then you come down around this earthly area. Yes, and this is where you first get super missiles. So I did get super missiles early, kind of technically, although it's not early. You probably need to do it if you want the best ending. That is my guess. This is not my first Metroid Rodeo. I know how they do things. Especially on this Game Boy Advance. They're, they really push you with that clock. I don't know, maybe it's the emulator. That could be it, too. You could have the emulator obey real-time or in-game time, but of course, going for the best time, you want it to obey in-game clock, because that has a little bit of leeway. If you set it to adjust real-time clock, your time's gonna suck. That is my guess. But I remember when I was playing Metroid Fusion, it seemed like I, I had to redo segments. I remember I recorded a whole part and was not happy. Like, I saw the end time, and then I had to copy the save and try again. Yeah, I knew that was a thing. I thought I could grab the ledge. I know you can. Snippets of that video. I guess I must have woke up from that video I watched at this point because I'm remembering some of this stuff. I like this pinkish red, though. I will say that much. Certain areas. Like I said, it's the warm areas of video games that I typically enjoy. It's inviting. Then again, Fendrana Drifts in Metroid Prime is amazing, if not for the music and nothing else. Or if for the music and nothing else, is how I should have said that. Now, uh, one of the phone conversations I had was with my mom, and it was like first thing in the morning. It actually just happened. There's stuff behind that wall! And yeah, anymore lately when I talk to her on the phone, she's just like, oh. I'm so tired. And she'll yawn and like cough and all every kind of mouth noise that you can make. And it's just like, do you realize that you're on the phone doing this right in my ear? Ridley is right here. But how much you want to bet he's not? There's some hidden tunnels and stuff. Although, we gotta find him. I know, it seems completely hypo... I almost said hypochondriac. That's not the word. Hypocritical. But I was gonna say, it just seems like people love to talk. And with a Let's Play, obviously, that is very hypocritical, but I don't mean it to be. Sometimes I do miss just playing a game in silence. This is the perfect environment for that, too. The music just has that feel to it, like, I don't want to. Why is this ledge here? And why is the rum gone? I don't know. I've, I've been doing pretty good lately. I feel like every video I've put out has been very happy, except for maybe the last one, which kind of got boring, I think. Maybe the one a little bit before that, too. But Agent Under Fire? I'm glad I recorded that early, man. Alright, let's see. How close are we to the dude? Yeah, as I figured, lots of long hallways first. Because you know that little smidgen room is behind Ridley. That's the prize. Alright. But yeah, similar to Paper Mario 64 when I recorded that Let's Play, I did it all before I released a single episode, so the happiness was unpolluted, uncontaminated, if you will. And that seems to be the thing, because sometimes when the comments start coming in, I mean, a lot of them are nice and I like it. I like that people are enjoying it and it's something that they can relax, do, and enjoy. 
But other ones, I don't know. Every now and then there's just like an irritating thing. And with that, I think the biggest thing I noticed... I get it, I understand, but it's like... It's an agent under a fi agent under fire let's play. And like half of the comments are like, oh, but what about night fire? It's like, well, well, we might get there, but for now, just enjoy what it is. I don't know. I feel like if I saw that and didn't finish the let's play, the parts would have immediately fell tanked in mood. But meanwhile, the whole let's play is mass happiness. Probably one of the happiest let's plays I recorded. But that just goes to show you how easily influenced by comments I am. So yeah, this whole series is going to be ahead of time too. Wait a minute. That looks like a morph ball tunnel. I know, I know I shouldn't be that way. Comments and view counts. But sometimes when you do see it... That's why, like, when I get back... This is what- this is probably gonna go up March 14th, I think. If I have my dates correct. Which is my niece's birthday. I gotta go give her a gift before I leave, too. Is this another dead-end job for a dead-end life? Yeah, looks so. Something dumps out at it, though. Are we running away from the SAX? No, that's a different game. Perhaps a better game. I don't know, I still kind of feel like I like Fusion better than this, but... I don't think that decision can be determined until at least a second playthrough, if not a third. But I do appreciate what Fusion attempted. I like the narrative design. They really... I don't know. They capitalized on a feature of Metroid that I greatly enjoy in the first place, which is the creep factor, the spook factor, if you will. Creep is probably the wrong word. Whoa! Whoa, there was a thing! Don't act like I didn't see that tunnel. Alright, I see now. But yeah, I have this feeling... After this series, there's gonna be like a week lull in videos, which is fine. And then probably March 24th is gonna be the earliest day that I could possibly play Animal Crossing. I'm gonna be four days late to that. But the idea is to start recording a very casual, hopefully happy series, because why would it be anything but? I'm actually thinking of deleting my GameCube Animal Crossing Let's Play, along with some of those Zelda randomizers that got really negative. I think it's time to just erase the negative pretend like it never was, but I don't know. Ah. Well, hang on. Do we trust it or do we go to the door first? Main path before secrets first? That's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, there's an item here. Oh. This exists on the NES too, doesn't it? I kind of remember this. I want to say that I do. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. I must get to that door. I should have froze him on the other side. I messed up. I screwed up severely. Crap, I thought I could get back up there. All right, well, save station. No possible way to wall jump. It seems like this game doesn't give you that split second on the crumble blocks that previous ones. Even Fusion gave you a second, I think. Whoa, speaking of, I'm on my way to Ridley, but I want to go back. I must check at least that super missile block that I found. Oh, that's neat. I always liked situations like that. Oh, well, I was going to say, I think this music, it really fits my mood right now. It's like if there was a soundtrack to how I feel, this song is it. It's got the do 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 like it's a kind of like an urgent pressure. I gotta keep going. But then it's got the uh, which is very much that sound. Uh, 
there is an O on the map. I am determined to find this thing. Aha! I've got you, Baichinko, as he would say, and that's Time Splitters 2, right? Four energy tanks remaining. You know that they're out there somewhere, probably in that Chozo area in the very beginning, when I was going way out of the way. Because there were screw attack blocks and speed booster blocks all over. Um, we know we can't go up. I'm just determined- the fact that you can fall from this room. Like if I jump down this pit, maybe there's something, but I kinda... I'm worried about it at the same time. At least we got another shot at this door over here. Oh wait, it's not yet. But this is the block, though, that I was coming back explicitly for, so we're good. Oh, I do remember this thing. You gotta sit on top of it. That sounds weird, but it's true. Yep. Must have woke up, like I said, when I was watching that walkthrough video a week ago or so. Must have been alert at this point. Should have done that earlier. It was just a pencil pickup. What a waste of time. Oh well, second attempt at this. Let's do it. We gotta freeze this guy in the right spot. That should work, hopefully. That was ridiculous. I should have done a normal jump. Slightly angry, but ignore it. Shove it down. I know I talked about this before, and it would definitely be better commentary, a better tangent to do a whole Animal Crossing episode on or something. But I want to say it now, before I forget. I know I've mentioned it in something else, but... Something's up here. I think if I could have any superpower in the world, it would be the power to make people young again. And healthy again. Like when I was talking to my mom, she was mentioning one of her cousins every August she's in the hospital. Like literally every year for the past four or five years, when August hits, she's in the hospital again. It's like, that's not right. I don't know. Aging sucks. Just looking at my mom and my dad. Several things now. With older eyes, just seeing how slow it takes them to do some stuff. How they're not quite how they used to be. It greatly bothers me. I guess it's a selfish desire of mine. To forever encapsulate and refresh. How I remember th how things used to be. Ridley's room, that's right, he comes on the way back. But I mean, we must fill out the four corners of the map. My OCD's conking me in the head. That is gravity suit. Interesting. Energy tank, do we grab it now or after the fight? Well, grab it now. It's for the fight. We could just recharge with the Chozo guy if the fight ends poorly. Uh, speaking of... Let's actually use some super missiles in battle. It's Ridley himself, the Screamer. See, is he just as obnoxious as in Metroid Fusion? Yes. <laughs> Rad, man, everything is just knocking me back in the lava. There seems to be way more projectiles in these fights compared to Super Metroid. Alright, you're eating it in the face. If I could figure out the buttons, why is that hard to me? Holding R. I guess that's counterintuitive to Super Metroid. You only press R if you want an angle shot in that game. Crap, he's... Screaming is what he's doing. Good lord. That was terrible. He was whipping me with his tail. If I was playing on hard mode or something, I would have been dead. Yeah, I'll never forget when I brought Metroid Fusion to high school. Because that last marking period... Not marking period. The last period of the day... It was a study hall, so I'd get a head start on my homework assignments and stuff. And if I didn't have anything, I remember the one time I played Metroid Fusion. 
And I was so stupid. I know I said this in my Fusion Let's Play. But I remember I had a save file at Ridley, and I thought it was so cool to bring it to school and reload that save file and play it with the volume turned up so people would realize it's the Ridley fight. It's so dumb. And of course, everybody just hears the screeching because Ridley's insane and on crack. And they're like, what the heck are you playing? And I'm like, oh, it's Metroid. That always said. But as a teenager in high school, you would've think you would've let it go and realized it's really not that cool as you think it is. Sorry, that's a little bit of the crank coming out. Again. I told you. It was phone calls, man. That plus all the clickbait articles I've been seeing lately. Just a little bit irritated by stuff, I guess. That's where we gotta go to get out of here. There is that tunnel if I fall again. And that door. I wanna try that door again. Nah, do I? It's it's already lost. The 100%. The best ending. What's the point of continuing? That just goes back down. I don't know, I guess I need that vacation. I can't wait. This, there's something up here. Okay, I see. Gotta just move him forward. Whoops, why did I shoot twice? I know why. We know why. Fill in the blank. How many missiles, I wonder, are there in this game? I actually don't wonder enough to care. Maybe on a second playthrough? I kind of wonder though. Maybe I should have just not been blind in this game. Played it first and then recorded it in my second playthrough. Then I would have known a little bit more. Ah well. You live and you learn or you do the same thing a hundred times over and you never learn. One of the two. The dead end room. Yeah, that one door is bugging me. I wish I made that jump. I don't think you would have to come back with space jump. Which we did pick up. I remember the sprite. It's just not active yet. Well, Ridley's done. We did not get an item for it, though. Somewhere. It might be right here. An item awaits us. And then, keeping in mind the original Metroid story, after Craig and Ridley, it's Mother Brain. Yes. He's broken. Crap. Okay. Screw attack, where is it? It's there. I always like the idea, like a broken one, and you gotta find like a hidden passage that leads to the real one. Some games do that. Why am I here? There was something else. Look at, there's more to that tunnel. I think I chose poorly. But you know what? The time is up there. Let's call it an episode. Next time, we will figure out how to find that thing. Take care.